Are you stuck in the paycheck to paycheck cycle? What would your life look like if you broke this cycle once and for all? Keep watching to find out how to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Hi, and welcome to Well Balanced Wallet, where we are creating healthy money habits. I'm Kamika, and today we are going to be talking about how to break the paycheck to paycheck cycle. Living paycheck to paycheck is no fun, and it can be so stressful. The smallest unexpected expense can make you feel so much anxiety about your finances. It's just not a good place to be. Your life is literally dictated by your paycheck, and you have to be very strategic about when you pay each bill and how you spend your money. The wrong move can send you into overdraft before you even notice it. It goes without saying that this is not a healthy way to live. In fact, living paycheck to paycheck can cause undue stress. This can trigger a medical emergency that's not accounted for in the budget. As you can see, this is a dangerous cycle. Studies have shown that as many as 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. I have even been there myself. The good news is that with a bit of time, effort, and dedication, you can break the paycheck to paycheck cycle despite your current financial situation. Determine why you live paycheck to paycheck. Before you can figure out how to stop living paycheck to paycheck, you have to figure out if the problem stems from your income or from your spending habits. To get a better picture of your finances, write down the amount of money you bring home every month. If you have irregular income, it's okay to estimate. When this is done, write down all of your monthly expenses, including everything starting from your mortgage or your rent and make your way to things like Netflix and eating out. After you have your income and expenses listed, subtract your expenses from your income. Do you have money left over or are you running out of money during the month? This exercise will make you realize one of two things about your financial situation. You'll either see that you don't make enough money to cover the number of expenses you have or you'll notice that you make enough to cover your regular monthly expenses, but your spending habits are out of control. The thing is, it doesn't matter what your current situation is. You can create a plan and work towards it to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Let's dig a little deeper and talk about the things that you can implement to break the vicious cycle. Break down your expenses. The first step to stop living paycheck to paycheck is to break down your expenses. You listed your expenses in the first exercise, so now let's break these down into categories. The categories include essential expenses, debt payments, and everything else. The essential expenses include your four walls. This is a concept that I learned from Financial Peace University, and I will put a link for it in the description box if you want to learn more about it. The four walls are food, shelter, necessary clothing and toiletry items, and transportation, your basic necessities. If you cut expenses to the bare minimum, these still need to be covered. Debt payments include any money that you owe. This can be student loans, personal loans, credit card debt, car payments, or medical expenses. A mortgage is technically considered debt, but it should be listed in your essential category because it's part of the four walls. The everything else category includes any money that you spend outside of your essential expenses and debt payments. Expenses included in the everything else category are not mandatory. This gives you a starting point if you need to cut things out of your budget. Your life will not fall apart without these things. It will just look a little different. Determine your spending habits. Now that you've placed your expenses into your categories, it's time to take a look at your spending habits. Your expenses are split into three categories now. The essential expenses and the debt payments have to be made every month. So let's take a closer look at the everything else category. This is sort of a catch-all category, so let's break this up into things that you need and things that you want. A need is considered anything that is essential to your daily life. A want is anything that enhances your daily life. Needs are different for everyone depending on your situation. For example, someone that works from home needs to have the internet. Someone that doesn't work from home may enjoy having the internet, but they don't need it. Pay attention to the things that you have purchased in the last month. Are they needs or wants? Subscription-based expenses like Netflix and even gym memberships seem like small expenses on their own, but when you have three or four of these services, it begins to add up. If you find a bill that is a bit more expensive than you thought, call the company and ask for a discount. You may not always walk away with a discount, but it doesn't hurt to ask. There may be a similar package that you didn't know about that costs a little bit less. 
I've done this plenty of times. Take inventory of the number of wants that you pay for monthly and start cutting out things that you don't need. You'll be surprised at how much money you can free up. Budget to zero. Now that you're aware of your true expenses, it's time to budget to zero. Budgeting is a way to tell your money where it needs to go until the next time you get paid. This is so important for breaking the, the paycheck to paycheck cycle. Without a budget, you won't be able to gain control of your expenses. So grab a pen, a sheet of paper, and your favorite budget app, and let's get started. My favorite budget app is YNAB. So get a free 34 day trial using my affiliate link in the description box if you want to follow along with me. We are going to do what's called a zero based budget. This means that you will budget, not spend every penny of the money that you have on hand. So let's get started. Log into your bank account and enter the amount of money that you currently have at the top of your paper or enter it into your budget app. Next, write down or enter all of your expenses in the order of the due date. This gives you a better picture of what needs to be done before you get paid again. Don't forget to include your four walls. When you have your expenses written down, start assigning money to them. Add money to each category that needs to be paid before your next payday, while subtracting the amount from the number at the top. Do this until the top number is zero. This means that you have successfully created a zero-based budget. Spend less than you earn. I know this one is a given, but it needs to be said. Spend less money than you earn each month. Spending less than you earn is the only way to break the paycheck to paycheck cycle. Use your budget to determine the amount of money that you have available to spend. Decide what needs to be done with all of the money you currently have available. If you're in a position where you don't have enough money to cover your upcoming bills, assign the money to the bills that you currently have the money for. Anything that you still need to pay for after that will have to wait. You may need to call a few companies to ask for an extension and that's okay. The budget will help you prioritize your bills on your next payday. If you happen to have money left over after your bills are covered, carefully decide what needs to be done with that money before you get paid again. Use your debit card or cash to cover your expenses. You don't want to use credit cards since they create additional debt. Check your spending in your budget every night to keep up with your category balances. Make this a habit and it will help you spend less than you earn and reach your financial goals. Boost your income. While you're breaking the paycheck to paycheck cycle, you may want to boost your income. When I say boost your income, I'm not talking about getting another job. Although if you're looking for one, go for it. I'm talking about boosting your income with money from side hustles. Side hustles are a great way to break the paycheck to paycheck cycle quickly. Do you have a hobby that you really enjoy? This could be writing, decorating, babysitting, or anything that you really enjoy. Use your skills to start your own side hustle. It may be a lot of work, but as long as you enjoy it, it won't seem like work. Advertise your services to all of your friends, communities around your city, and to local groups online. The orders and clients will start pouring in and you'll make enough money to pay a few extra bills and create a cushion in your bank account. If you would rather not have to advertise for your side hustle, you could try your hand at taking surveys for cash. There are a few reputable companies that I've used in the past. They are a pleasure to work with and they pay on time. So look into user testing, play tests, and swag bucks for more information. The pay is not what you would receive from a part-time job, but it is a great way to make extra cash and to boost your income with little effort. Save, save, save. This probably goes without saying, but in order to break the paycheck to paycheck cycle, you will need to save some money. An emergency fund of at least $1,000 would be ideal, but anything that you save will be helpful. When you create your budget, add one line for savings. You can also open a savings account at your bank to hold the money. After the four walls are covered, add any additional money from your paycheck or side hustles to your savings categories until you reach your goal. Your paycheck will continue to pay the bills as it always has, but since you have boosted your income a bit, you can save a little bit of money. The money that you save will be your cushion. When you get in a pinch or if something comes up, this is the money that will be there to help you out. If you use any of the money that you're saving while breaking the paycheck to paycheck cycle, replace it as soon as possible. The longer you take to replace it, the easier it will be to fall back into old habits. The bottom line. Life is so stressful when you're living paycheck to paycheck. It doesn't have to be this way forever. The main thing to remember 
is to boost your income any chance that you get. This will make all the difference because you'll have extra money to take care of things. If you're still struggling or you need a bit of help to break this discouraging cycle, read The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. This is the book that I read that started me on my journey to financial freedom. While I don't follow all of the principles in this book, this is a great way to jumpstart my progress. I want to challenge you to commit to following these steps for a few months and let me know how it goes. What creative ways have you used to break the paycheck to paycheck cycle? Let me know in the comments. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.